how to set up Rockcell and how to use my settings as well as how to adjust them to your own needs. Now this is not going to be a video on why you should use Mask Excel or like if Mask Excel is right for you. I'm assuming that you already are interested in trying it out so I'm not going to waste my time convincing you. Um, basically the way I would describe my setup is I try to make it feel like slow down aim assist but you have to manually do it. You know you have to manually assume that you're on your target but it basically gives you that sticky kind of aim feeling. Um, so rather than thinking about having inconsistencies like you have a consistent fast sense and you're able to slow it down when you need to so you're going to go to this link which i have in the description and you're going to download rockcell um, i put it in my program files you can put it wherever just um, unzip it and then run the installer and then once you've done that you're going to have to restart your pc now if you want this to run at startup you're going to hit windows plus r you can type shell startup or you can just copy paste it and I already have it in here but we're going to do create shortcut on writer.exe and we're going to drag it over there and basically that's just going to run Rockcell at startup. Now it will take a moment to apply so if you're using it to change your DPI just be aware that won't kick in right away. I usually use 8000 DPI scaled down to 800 so until Rockcell starts up I actually like can't use my computer. <laughs> now once you're in the GUI, you're not going to have it looking like this, obviously, but um, go ahead and set in your DPI. I would recommend setting it to double your DPI so you see more of the chart. Um, this won't actually affect any settings. It just affects the chart. And then set your polling rate and rescale by above. Polling rate does matter, I believe. Um, you can show additional charts here. These are just kind of math things, like you don't really have to worry about it. That's if you want to nerd out. You do want to show last mouse move, which only works if you run it in admin. If you have multiple mice plugged in, you can actually disable mouse Excel for a specific mouse. Or if you have them on different DPI settings, you can adjust your sensitivity multipliers here. So this is going to be basically to adjust your DPI. So for instance, if I, right now I'm on 800 DPI, if I switch to 1600, I can set it to 0.5 and my sensitivity will feel exactly the same as it did before. However, I do have to adjust some of the settings based on that. So based on the different types of curves, they might have different settings you have to adjust. For instance, in natural, you have to adjust the decay rate. Um, Rotivity, you have to adjust the midpoint. So the midpoint, you're going to divide it by the sense multiplier if you're making a change. So if my midpoint was 2 on 800 DPI, then on 1600 DPI, I would divide it by 0.5. So I would get 4. Does that make sense? Hopefully that makes sense. So let's talk about what these values actually do. So the growth rate, basically, so the motivity is based on S shape. So this basically changes how defined the S shape is. So at lower values, it's more of just like a straight up curve, like not really an S at all. And then at higher values, we get a much stronger S shape. I recommend having it around 0 0.7, um, 0 0.6 to 0.9. I don't really enjoy having it at 1. I don't really know why. It just feels a little bit off. But you can play around with that. I wouldn't worry too much about it, though. 0 0.7 seems pretty good. So motivity is going to be our main defining factor here for our curves. Now, basically what this is going to do is it's going to set the maximum to this value to, so 1.335 let's set this back to 1.0 or or set this back to 800 dpi for simplicity of calculations um right, so this is going to approach 1.335 forever and then the minimum is going to be one over that so it actually is going to lower your initial sense below 
1.0. Whereas all the other Excel types in here are actually gonna start at 1.0 and just add on to that. So the midpoint, again, that is gonna scale with DPI, but that's just gonna change like where the midpoint of the S is, if that makes sense. Um, having it higher value will make it be a slower acceleration. Having it lower value will make it be a very fast acceleration. I have never seen anyone besides me use such a low midpoint. Most people are going to be doing more like, you know, like 25, 50, even 100. Um, those are way too high, in my opinion. I think that having a low midpoint um, gives you the really sticky aim feeling because um, you get a very quick deceleration. So what else did I talk about? Um, y to X ratio. I think you should have a higher Y sensitivity because um, you have a limited range of motion vertically with your hand, right? Like you actually have to like move your whole arm after a certain point. It's just not as much motion compared to horizontally. So I think it's better to have a higher sense. I actually play with 1.35 Y to X ratio. But that's probably a little high for most people. I would say 1.1 is good. Try 1.2 if you want it to be a little bit faster, but yeah, play around with that. If you really, really hate it, you can try 1.0, but I really recommend 1.1. It'll also make recoil control like much easier. Recoil is basically eliminated with higher um, Y ratio. So that's pretty much it. Hopefully you now understand basically what these values are. Um, gain, don't worry about that, just leave it checked. Um, if you have any more questions, don't ask me ask the discord so there's a very thorough guide here and they should have it linked maybe on the home page okay yeah right here on the home page join their discord it's very very active you can get help there so if you have any questions go to them don't go to me please <laughs> yeah those are my settings and then I have this document, which I got from someone in the Discord, but I just added this section here. So you can input your motivity and your in-game sense, and it'll tell you what your sensitivity range is. This is really just for like the sake of curiosity and like knowing, you know, it doesn't actually like affect anything, but you can also put in a sensitivity range and it will tell you a motivity value as well as your in-game sense. So this will also be in the description, so you're just going to want to go to File, Make a Copy, and then you can edit it. Now, if you decide that you want a little break from using ProXL, I would recommend backing up your settings.json. Like you could just make a new folder, back up, and just copy in there. That way, if you forget what your settings are, you can just like replace it. But you can also just like, you know, remember them or write it down somewhere. But yeah, if you don't want to use it anymore, you can just hit the reset. And you can go ahead and take this out of shell startup if you decide like you don't want it at all. And, but you could also just uninstall it and then it won't matter because um, it won't start up a shortcut for something that isn't there. Um, or if you want to keep raw Excel on your computer and you want to have your settings saved, but you don't want it to start up automatically. So that way you only use it like sometimes, like if you, maybe you only want to use it when you aim train, but you don't want to use it in actual games. All you would have to do is then just take it out of shell startup or not put it in there in the first place and then just run raw Excel whenever you want. But yeah, so if you want to just like not mess with anything, not mess with like the startup or anything, but you just, don't want to use it at the moment you can just hit reset and that will automatically just put it back to default that's gonna be it i hope that helped you guys leave a like if so and subscribe for more